everybody, my name is Joey Smokey, and this is the Supplemental Instruction Series of Videos for Chemistry 121. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about the transitions between different states of matter. As you guys know, things exist in different states, you know, like solid, or like liquid, or like gases. This is pretty much obvious. So, but it's important to realize, the, you know, the differences between these different things. So, to kind of help us out with explaining this concept, I drew out a little diagram for you. Okay? Now, what this little stepladder, staircase thing, whatever you want to call it, represents is the transition from a solid through all the different phases all the way to a gas. Okay? And the important thing to remember is that as things go through different states, as they change their states, there's going to be an exchange of energy. Okay? So when you think about it, a solid you know, is a very solid thing. I mean, like this wall is solid, it's not going anywhere. So that means that all of the molecules inside this board are very, they're not moving very much at all. They're very, you know, just packed there. They're not moving. Which means that there's a very, very low energy in this board. And that is kind of represented here, you know, energy is increasing this way. So the solid has a lower energy. And also, solids exist at a lower temperature. So the energy and the temperature kind of go hand in hand. Okay? As you move up here, when you get to a gas, you know, like the air we breathe, or if you see water boiling, you can kind of see the steam moving around all over the place. Those molecules are moving very fast. They have a lot of energy. So as energy and temperature go up, you're going to get more things existing in the gaseous state. Okay? So there's all sorts of different transitions when you go between these things. So when I've listed these things out here, um, you know, four of them are pretty obvious. If you have a solid going to a liquid, that's melting. A liquid to a gas is evaporation. Liquid to solid is freezing. Gas is to liquid is condensation. There are two that you may not have heard of, and that is going from a solid to a gas. Yes, that can happen, believe it or not. And when you have a solid going into a gas, that's called sublimation. When you go the opposite direction, gas into a solid, that's called deposition. So you might not want to be too concerned about those, but just make sure that you know that they're there. Okay? But what I want to focus most of all for this episode is the exchange of energy between different states. So let's go ahead and take, for example, the transition from a solid to a liquid. The first thing you want to think about is which one has more energy, which one has less energy. Okay? Remember that you know solids are very unmoving, they're not very much movement, low energy. But liquids, they have a higher energy, you know, they're more fluid. There's more movement of the molecules, which is what makes them a liquid. So in order to make that transition from, you know, a very low energy state to a higher energy state, what has to happen is an increase in energy. So that means you have to put energy into the solid to get it to move around a little bit more to turn into a liquid. Okay? So when you go from a trans, you know, the state, a state change from a solid to a liquid, you're going to be increasing energy. Okay? If you go the other direction, we'll say, we'll look at liquid to gas, and we'll say we're going to take a gas and change its state to a liquid. And remember, the gas has a really high energy state, liquid not so much so. So what's going to happen in order for the gas to turn into a liquid? It's going to have to lose that energy. It's going to have to, you know, come down to the level of the liquid. It's losing energy to become a liquid and no longer be a gas. Okay? So that's pretty basic. I mean, when you think about energy exchange and all other things, that's what, you, that's what you want to think about. Which one has the highest energy, which one has the lowest energy, which direction are you going, all that sort of thing. So, that's your basic physical states, changes between them, energy, temperature, all that sort of stuff. Um, and if you want to see this in action right now, you guys have boiled water, frozen water, all that sort of stuff. So, there you go.